It's been nearly a month since our last home fixture, but this weekend we return to our house as we take on Charlton Athletic in our first Wonder of Wickham fixture. Come and join us. It was a big day at Adams Park this Tuesday as we snapped this year's squad photo and our players met their sponsors. Let's go behind the scenes. It's the token! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Let me change for these tokens, please. <laughs> 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 You're in next. Yeah, Steve, on the bench there. The room on the bench. Oh! <laughs> 
no! <laughs> The Chairboys have had a number of players return to the fray in recent weeks, and ahead of Saturday, we spoke to Jason McCarthy, who might be making his return. So, a bit of a tough game on Saturday against Oxford. Was it a tough one to watch from the sidelines? Uh, yeah, like I always find it hard watching from the sidelines, if I'm being honest. It's, like, I want to be out there and I feel way more nervous when I watch it, especially at home. Um, but yeah, it was a tough game. I think it was a good point on the grand scheme of things. And um, yeah, I think with the circumstances, with people coming back from injury as well, I think it's it's a good point. Do you think you notice more things when you're off the pitch than when you're on it? Yeah, definitely. I think so. And I think sometimes it can cloud your judgment because when you watch, it just looks like players have got so much time and you can sort of see things with hindsight and you can see oh, like from a different, different angle. Um, but when you're playing the game, it's so different. So I've learned that kind of over the years, really. Like people, everyone will have their opinion watching it, but it's so much different when you're playing the game. So obviously, you've been working hard to get back, and fingers crossed it won't be too long. Um, feeling strong, feeling ready? Yeah, I feel fit. Like I feel ready to go um, whenever the gaffer's the gaffer wants me. Um, I've had a good. I had a four weeks training leading up to Oxford. I think it was sort of said that you know the game might have come too soon but it was the right time for me to be involved and stuff yeah now I just I feel ready to go I feel um, ready to get back out there I'm, I'm itching and um, yeah I just want to like obviously I've only played one game so I want to get going myself personally as well I feel like I've got a lot to offer this team um, this season so yeah I'm ready to go um, and we come back to Charlton on Saturday they've had a bit of a tumultuous start to the season is it going to be a tough one are you looking forward to it yeah, I mean they're they're a big club. They're they're a club who also are going for promotion. They've got a really good squad. Um, I've got a really good friend there, and even though they've had a tough start, they've they sound like they've got a good dressing room and um, a really good manager. So that we will respect them and um, we'll know that it will be a really tough game. But I just really I'm really confident in our squad. I'm really confident in the team gaffers assembled and. Um, just we've got that solidity behind us as well where so many teams are bringing it it's like a new start and a new thing going on with them we just keep adding every year so i feel like we're in a good place going into this game and we've had a positive start so there's no reason why we shouldn't be for the win and it's the first home game in a while um obviously we've had a lot of really good away support how important is it that we fill adams park against charlton yeah it's it would be awesome like just the support this season has been incredible and I think um, the numbers have been up from the times before before lockdown and stuff so it would be great but look we we need it as players we thrive off it um, I certainly do like bombing up and down that right especially in the first half um, I love it and I sort of play off it so all the players will say the same so yeah if you're on an iron get down to Adams Park Perfect. And obviously we've had a few more new signings join, both in the development team and the first team. How have the boys been settling in? No, really good, really good. It's it's great because Dobbo and Gaffer do so much on character, like referencing and stuff like that. So whenever players come into the building, normally they're always good characters and um, they always fit in seamlessly. So it's been the same with the new boys. Um, Brandon settled in really well. The B team boys have settled in really well and. Um, yeah, they're just they're gonna learn the culture as they go, and they'll be adding to it as well. So, uh, looking really good. Looking really good. Perfect. Well, fingers crossed for three points on Saturday, and hopefully you'll be making a return. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not just our first team who've been in action recently. Our development squad also took on Maidenhead United in a behind closed door fixture. Let's have a look how they got on.
Game of the Game segment returns this week with Randomizer. We posed some wacky questions to part of our goalkeeper union in David Stockdale and Tyler Dickinson. Let the games begin. No, they don't have none of that. We're not in Hollywood. <laughs> if you could change your name, what would you change it to? David Stockdale. Yep, next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was well, is it just first name or is it first and second? I'm going to give you both. See, because my first name's different, so yeah. I change it to ER, just because when I first came in, Ben wrote on my bottle Tyler, ER, not yeah. the A. So everyone just naturally just thinks Tyler, just ER. So I do that. Surname, keep it the same. Keep that the family, is, keep the family name going. Tyler, that is really boring. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Should we do it again? No. No, you can't no. do it, you can't. can't do it again. I would say, stuff in my head, something about you being with Shirley. Shirley Valentine, I'd be. You know, like Paul O'Grady? Yeah. He's got his uh, other, other side. I'm not going to go into the way I'm called Tyler, but we'll keep it that. Yeah, okay. Oh, you want save that one. Save that one. Ooh. This yeah. is, you could have thought of a better one, couldn't you? Pirates and Ninjas. Oh. What's it, what does this mean in the way you want to come up against? So like beef. Pirates of the Caribbean or Ninja Turtles? <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Like, are you fighting them or are you no, being which, it? Which one's better? And reasoning. Go on, what are you picking? I'm going for Ninja Turtle. One, I can eat pizza whenever I want. <laughs> Secondly, I can see April every day. Yeah. You don't know a teenage being a Ninja Turtle, do you? Which one? What one was Michelangelo. She? Michelangelo. Who was the red one? Leonardo. Re Leonardo. Not that I know much about. <laughs> See, when what? I think of ninjas, I think of like them in like the dark, like at night time with their nunchucks It could be like a everything. Power Ranger ninja. Do you remember Power Ranger? Vaguely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll but then Pirates like of the Caribbean, I'm all over that. Yeah. It, well, I'm being to a be pirate fair, there's a few then... goalkeepers that are acting like pirates now with one leg and, and a hook <laughs> Hey, up. you can't be saying names of. <laughs> I'd never said Curtis Anderson, you said that. <laughs> you got that. I'm going for a pirate. Okay. Just because I just love, you know, you're out at sea, you can hop on a ship and you can just take over. You know, I've got a shell though. Yeah, but so you can't really swim. And I'm I like us. Oh, wait, you can, can't you? Turtles can swim. <laughs> See, I've fought by everything. Yeah, but we've got ships. What have you got? Everything. You don't. I'm a, I'm a, ninja, a ninja and a turtle. You're just a pirate. And I've got a ship. Yeah, I've got a shell. It's not going to protect you when you get off. I can protect myself at all times. I've got cannons. I'm straight in. I've got cannons. Head in. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't getting past my, my girlfriend, <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> Settled. Come on then. Right, we need a good one here. We do. Imagine if I just made a question on <laughs> What is top of your bucket list? I want to do skydiving. You know, Should we do it? I can do it. I'll do it, yeah. Where are we going for Christmas too? Skydiving. Yeah. What, skydive into yeah. the Christmas too? <laughs> what an idea. Off your private jet? Nah. Nah. You know how much it costs? <laughs> Can set it up. I, that I for think a day. we should do. If we get like a million likes, we'll both do skydiving in a Wickham wetsuit or whatever they are. Like With a, the, the parachutes, Wickham. Yeah. Sorted. There you go. Free branding. A million, likes. A million, a million likes. likes. We'll do it. Me and you. All right. Who's at the front? Who's at the back? Because you have that person at the back, don't you? Or you have the person at the front. Would you really <laughs> want to be strapped to me, Paul, in front of an aeroplane? <laughs> don't know. Anyone who pulls a cord, lets us loose. <laughs> I'll forget. <laughs> Pull it, dogs. Woo! <laughs> Just free falling into yeah. the gazebo. Tom Cruise free falling. What film? Oh. Who is the worst? Oh, you can't, how are you putting who's the worst at head tennis in this? Out of who? I'm joking, that's not professional. <laughs> if you could swap lives with anyone, who would it be? Swap lives? Yeah, lives. In the world? In the world. Or in the club? No, anyone. Anyone's anyone. That's a good one, that. Uh, I'm going for Dan Bilzerian. Yeah? Yeah. Why's that? 
He's a big hunky Australian, isn't he? He's American for a start. He's got a decent beard. Uh, he plays poker and just lives a lifestyle. He's like the the modern Hugh Hefner. Yeah. I'm taking Ryan Reynolds. Why? I just the Canadian accent for me. I just like it. And then in his movies, top quality guy. He always come through, don't he? <laughs> Sound like you know him. <laughs> top quality guy. My kind of fellow, you know, my company. No, he's just all the films. He's always got everything. You think he's down and out, but then he comes back and through. Got a lot of work. Working all the time. So? I'm having fun. But he's working to have a good life. <laughs> <laughs> what a question. This is perfect for you head tennis players. Would you rather have feet for hands or hands for feet? Feet. Hands for feet. Wait, is this just in goalkeeping or in just like everyday life? <laughs> everyday life. <laughs> for goalkeeping. <laughs> you can't be walking around with feet hands, can you? Can you? <laughs> You'd make bullying the ball a lot easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> can't walk around with feet hands. <laughs> <laughs> imagine you with your pinky toes out. <laughs> oh, imagine. Yeah, it's got to be hands, feet. And then anything that comes down, just stop it. Get your hands. Got four hands going. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. I think hands for feet. Yeah. Can't be trying to put pair of trainers on. on. Yeah. Pair of trainers on. On your feet, on your hands. Put their feet. Yeah, but try and put a pair of goalkeeper gloves on your feet. We'll try that. It might help a few people. Who? Who? <laughs> Can't be saying that. Oh. You don't know behind the camera, but he's just left. It's how boring we are. <laughs> oh, see, what, what question's this? Hit me with your rhythm stick. Come on. If you were a vegetable, what vegetable would you be? An onion. <laughs> Why? Because you got many layers. No. Oh. Because <laughs> make people cry. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, that's terrible. Um, oh, seriously. See, I don't even like veg. Yeah. I don't know. I have to say. P. Why? So I can you move can't on. aim that at me. <laughs> I'm not talking about your peer. Because <laughs> peas come in the pod. I don't like to be around people. Well, that's, that's nice. You that. see what I did there? Yeah, because you're like, you are the. People. <laughs> <laughs> they're all laughing behind camera. You can't see it, but they're laughing. You are such a dad, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Come on then. I'm taking a pepper. Is that, that's a veg, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's got seeds, so is it a fruit? Technically. Yeah. We'll give it to you, we'll give it to you. Give it to you. Just come in many I want to know, under the comments or wherever, is pepper a vegetable? Yeah, it is, surely. If it's not, we'll find out for something Tyler with an EI can do. If you had to eat one food, you're not allowed to say pepper. Yeah. For the rest of your life, what would it be? Food or meal? Let's say meal. 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 So you know what we had Tuesday? That salmon and prawn pasta. Pasta, yeah. That was unreal. Yeah. But could I do that for the rest of my life? I don't know. Don't know, this is a question I've asked you. It is. We'll did go, it, we'll go did for it, that. Did we'll go for that salmon and prawn pasta. Salmon and prawn. My Just, chicken pie. Yeah. yeah. Oh. What, what do you have up more? You've got loads of different Food. types of pies. Like we have Sainsbury's and stuff yeah, like you do. What, what pies do you have up north? That like chicken pie, homemade chicken pie. Maybe I'm thinking even you're further thinking, north, like no, you're thinking, what, what are they called? You're thinking like a, a Lancashire pie. Is that nowhere near you, New Yorkshire? What? Shall we just do a geography lesson? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say 
nowhere near you. Lancashire and Yorkshire are together, as in borders. Yeah. But it's so far away from Yorkshire. So what, like football teams, like that's how I'd know where, what teams in Lancashire? So, oh. <laughs> what football teams are in Lancashire, Tyler? <laughs> Forget these for questions. <laughs> I want you to name me five clubs that are in Lancashire. I, I couldn't. Do you want me to start you off? So you've got you Leeds, who you've got in Yorkshire. Yeah. Because Can you name five in Yorkshire? No. Sorry guys, <laughs> all you listeners out there. I promise I'll have them up to date on geography <laughs> the next time we go. Leeds, yeah. Doncaster, Rotherham, Rotherham, Barnsley, oh. Sheffield, Sheffield, cool. Man City, Man U, Blackburn, Burnley, Bolton, oh, cool. Rochdale. Cool? Yeah, yeah. All right. We're all good now. Oh, are you just picking the questions? No, or? I'm going to pick it for you. Go on then. No, no, you, you go. Yeah. You get to wear that tomorrow now. I don't think I do. It's up to the people at home. Yeah. I need the, the comments. If we get a million likes, we ain't going anywhere. We're going <laughs> skydiving, mate. You're going to see us landing here. Yeah. We will skydive into the stadium. No, it's all if you was. If you're an animal, what animal are you going to be? Oh. Is a dinosaur an animal? Current. Let's change it. Current animals. Black current. <laughs> Um, what else are they, the current animal. I like. I move like a sloth, so <laughs> I won't pick a sloth. <laughs> Do you know what? I'd like to be an elephant. Go on. I think like you know when you watch. I watch documentaries and yeah, stuff. Yeah, David. Attenborough. And everyone's like, no, no, an elephant there. Ooh. Nobody messes with the elephant. But the baby elephants, they do. No, not if they're together in the herd. Ones if you leave the herd just for ten seconds. Don't leave the herd. You say you do. You don't you leave my lost. herd. You're me. You I get look lost. After my herd. You know your you geography. Are... You're, you're going one way and you just end up the other way. It's not your geography. <laughs> You'd end up in Sahara and you're from Kenya. <laughs> don't ask him my <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, like the goalkeeper unit is my herd and yeah. we stick together. We're all good. Yeah. So, you, see what I mean? The elephants are like yeah. like that. What about you? Uh, just take the big old lion. Just because who's going to really go after a lion? Another lion. But you're the biggest, baddest lion. No one's going to touch you. Okay. Yeah, last one. What do you mean, last one? Last don't, one. Let, don't let him you bully you. you. No, oh, there's still more questions Listen, here. The crowd want more. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. I think last one each then, if you're doing the last one. <laughs> Would you rather fight 100 duck sized horses or one horse sized duck? Oh, one horse sized duck all day long. Yeah. It's all day long. Easy, Take one. one versus one, I'll back myself against a duck sized horse. I'd have a like a horse sized duck. I'd have horse sized duck, same thing. <laughs> I'd have reins on his beak within minutes. Because <laughs> like they've only got two feet as well, so Quick. they're just gonna be waddling yeah, towards put you. Put your hand in Oh let's pick a good one. It's still on me. Oh we'll end with this one, we'll end with this one. So you know pizza came up earlier or Yeah. How do you feel about pineapple on a pizza? Illegal. It's just gone. Legal. Life sentence. It just shouldn't be there, should it? Yeah. Why, why if you, would what's you do your go-to pizza? I have had this discussion in the house. Go on. So like, say, say you're getting what is it, Domino's on a little cheat night. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> I like what you did. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Every day is a cheat day. <laughs> what are you? What is the Stockdale house household ordering? It's only one man that really goes for pizza, and that's a little man. Is it? And he's a margarita straight. It's not a not pizza it. family. No. No. If you go out for dinner, where are you going? S- steak restaurant. Steak restaurant. It, it's a hard choice because you've got to cater for a lot of. Exactly. Do they get so like all of your kids? So they get like a choice. So like, say last time it was Billy, and then next week or whenever you go out, 
would you make the choice? It's a family choice. We're very yeah. open as a family. Like, oh, I love that. Very like, as long as it covers it, most people. Yeah. And sometimes as parents, it's easier just to go with what they want and deal with it. You've no. got all that to come, mate. In many years to come. So what I have to do with you keepers. It's just like you guys make the choice <laughs> and just go with it. And then we just follow you. Yeah. Yeah, on that note. On that note. On that note. Is he sure. wearing that in training tomorrow? A million likes. I what don't do even want... think a million. What do you mean a million? I think loser at head tennis tomorrow. No, is that? a million a to million. skydive. Oh, to skydive, yeah. I think loser of head tennis tomorrow has to wear that in training. Well, you might as well wear it now, then. Who, oh, ask him now. who won the last game. I did. <laughs> so... That's all for another episode of Our House. If you're wondering about coming down on Saturday, make sure you do. There'll be pyrotechnics, local food and beer, giveaways, and of course, some fantastic football on show from the Chair Boys. Make sure you join us. <laughs>